Hello, this is Peter Newman. There's a part two from the video last time of part one of that created the uh, FEMA bone from an STL file. And uh, in this video, I'll just do the next bone and uh, maybe bring in the other couple. And so uh, what we will need is a new component and we'll call that the tibia. And we'll put the facet body in there so that we can open it up on its own and go through the same steps on the facets tab. We'll uh, close this off with a cap and then we'll go to the tools and auto skin and I'll pause the video while that processes. So the patching has finished and we can uh, clean up the end to make it have a single face, which we did in the design tab, making a face here and then just using the M key to move that down by one millimeter. And doing the split body, split that body with that and take away this piece. So with the um, successful conversion, we don't need the facet body anymore. Uh, you can turn it on and see that uh, the auto skin has done a very nice job following the dimensions. So uh, we'll say goodbye to the facet body. And uh, we've got some geometry. If we go up, we might uh, See, now we've got a femur and a tibia, and uh, that's left over from the last video. We'll um, maybe save this as uh, knee joint and uh, call it um, then we can bring in some more bones, and uh, we've got a uh, fibula. So we'll uh, go to a new component and call it uh, fibula. And we'll open, we'll, uh, open the STL file for the fibula by setting the file type to STL and bring that in. There it is. Um, what we want to do is the same kind of conversion, but we also want it as a um, an assembly. So we'll um, save that joint. Let's do the conversion first. Facets close off. So yes, undo. Check the cap and close that off. And then on tools, we will uh, auto skin. And I'll pause the video while it uh, does the operation. Once I pick the facet body and say go. done. Over to the design tab, grab a plane, put the plane, let's use the select key, make a plane, put it on the uh, up here somewhere. Too close. There's a plane. We'll move it down. Move that down millimeter and split body split body that body that delete that piece and back to select we don't need the plane we don't need the facets so we've got 
fibula. And what we want to do is bring that into the knee joint. So uh, we can uh, save that file, save. And in the knee joint, we'll use the assembly and uh, add a file to this assembly. And the file type is a space claim file, fibula. There it is. And uh, we can add a uh, another file to this and then we can add the STL using the same assemblies uh, tab and that's the patella so it shows up in the correct place in space and because uh, it was all scanned as a single joint in a medical scanner and uh, let's convert this over now that came into the active and I, I want to reorganize it and have it be its own um, file and this this actually has a double level so I, I'll just drag the body up and delete the empty so we have a, a body in each, and this is currently a closed. Um, so if we go and open that, uh, well, just, just even activate that. We can go to Tools, Auto Skin, pick that, say Go. and do not need the patch body anymore. So we'll just use the, uh, go back to design, select, pick the patch and delete it. So that is the, all the bones in the knee joint uh, as geometry now. And we'll um, call that a video. And uh, next video we can look at how we might create some interfaces between for the, the tissue that's missing, cartilage, and so on. All right, thanks for watching.